Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about iOS 18 features that Apple did not mention on their keynote. Now, iOS 18 beta 1 is packed full of new features, and if you want to watch my coverage, links will be in the description down below. But in this video, I want to talk about those features that Apple did not mention that I think you guys should know about. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is brand new wallpapers. For those of you that are asking, yes, we have four new wallpapers for iOS 18. We have a purple, we have a blue, we have a yellow, and we have a pink wallpaper and if you're not running iOS 18 and you would like to have these wallpapers I'll make sure to link them in the description down below so let's take a look here at the home screen the home screen the one thing I want to talk about first because there's a lot happening here however there's a few things that Apple did not mention that I think are time savers and when you install iOS 18 you may want to take advantage of this so right here let's say I have an icon I have right here the calendar application I can long press on the calendar application and I have these two new options the first option will turn a widget into an icon or an app and the second option would do the opposite allow me to make the actual app larger and go ahead and make it into a widget so I can long press on a widget create an app or long press on an app and create the widgets. So this is a time saver and I think it's a really cool new feature that Apple did not mention. Now, speaking of widgets, on the home screen, there's also an additional time saver. So let me show you, you long press, go into edit, add a widget. And when you add a widget, certain widgets, you can resize on the fly directly on the home screen of your iPhone with iOS 18. So if I have a small size widget right here, I can actually press right here, stretch it out, and create a medium size or pull down and create a large widget. So this is a time saver, obviously, that way you don't have to go back and add a different size widget. Again, you can long press, and this doesn't work for every widget, but it does work for some. So you can go ahead and click on edit home screen. And if you see this little icon right here in the bottom corner, you can stretch it out just like so and create different size widgets. So yeah, definitely a time saver. Apple did not mention this, but I think it's a really cool new feature. Now with iOS 18, Apple added a new feature that allows you to lock individual applications using Face ID or Touch ID, but I noticed that this feature does not work for every single application. So for example, I can long press here on the App Store icon and I get the option right there for require Face ID, right? So this will allow me to lock this app into place with Face ID or Touch ID. However, if I go into the settings application and try to do this, I cannot lock settings, at least not yet. Now, if I go into the Find My, I also cannot lock this application. There's several apps on the iPhone that I cannot lock with Face ID, and there's some apps that you can lock behind Face ID and or Touch ID. And I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to this feature, but it does not work for every single application. In case you're not running iOS 18, just so you know, right now, the feature does not work for every single app. Now, especially settings, I think Apple should allow in order to block settings so that no one can go into settings and access information or try to change anything. But yeah, just so you know, Face ID and Touch ID passcode protection does not work on every single app. Now, with the release of the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro last year and iOS 17, Apple introduced a new charging optimization limit, 80% under battery health. Now, with iOS 18, Apple has now changed that on the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro. You now have the option to choose 80%, 85, 90, 95, or 100 for charging optimization limits. Now, the idea behind this feature is to prevent your battery health from dropping quicker than it should to protect your battery so that you don't have to replace it as often. With iOS 18, Apple has now added additional options for those charging optimization limits. Again, you can do anything from 80 to 85 to 100. Now with iPadOS 18 this year, Apple finally created a brand new calculator app for the iPad with a lot of new features, but Apple never mentioned that all those features are also available within iOS 18 for the iPhone. So right here, if you go into landscape mode, you can click on this little calculator icon here and you have things like math notes. Basically, this allows you to draw on the screen anything you want and it will calculate it for you. So if I do three times three, it should give me the actual amount right there just like so. So a lot of the new calculator features for iPadOS are also available on the iPhone, including some of the history, basics, and scientific calculator as well. Now, this next feature I find kind of weird, but also useful. So if we go into control center here and I turn on the flash, you see here a new UI for dynamic island. So I can long press on dynamic island and I can actually scrub up or down to increase or decrease the intensity of the flash for this iPhone, as you can see right there. I think it looks kind of funky, but it works well within iOS 18. Again, once you enable that flash, you get that brand new UI from Dynamic Island where you can just scrub, 
to increase or decrease the intensity. Now with iOS 18, there's this really cool new feature that allows you to customize the icons on your iPhone's home screen. As you can see right here, you have the ability to add a tint on the icons for your iPhone's home screen. So if we tap here, you see that the icons will change color. But if you tap this section right here, you can use this little bubble to actually change the colors of the icons to match the color of the background. This is something that Apple did not mention. Take a look at that. You can actually scrub over and change the color of those icons according to the color of the wallpaper. And you can mix it up as well. So it's a pretty cool new feature that allows you to further customize the icons of your iPhone to match exactly the color of the wallpaper and background. So there you guys have it. These are some of the features that Apple did not talk about that I think are worth mentioning. They do save time and also improve the user experience. Thank you for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.